and let's start by beginning in the bottom left hand corner here. So if we look at our front view here, we can see uh, by the adjacent views, we, we can know the distances or the lengths of these outlines that represent the profile. We get a length of 350 here, and if we take a look at our top view, we have 2 inch uh, plus the 1, uh, 250 all the way out to the edge. Then we have our thickness there. So let's use this information to create our profile. Now once again, I am in the front UCS, okay? So I'm also in an ISO view. Now if I start drawing with line, if I look at my layers first, okay? We're going to be working in the 3D layer. Uh, just to see what we're doing right now, I'm going to use the object layer. Okay, and I'll start with line. And at this point, this is where you want to use the absolute coordinate method. So I'm just going to start at the origin, 0, 0. Now, because I activated also my polar and polar tracking tools, your drafting settings there, you can see I'm pointing directly to the east, right, to the right. So I can just type in 550 there, okay, and now I, I have another line that's at a 60 degree angle. So if I start from here and I come up to 120, okay, now I can just punch in the direct distance here, 350. Now, starting from that point right there, I create a 90 degree angle. Right? And you can see there, uh, working with my polar tracking, I can easily find that. You also notice that looking at the top view, we've got a distance of 3.250. All right. Now, how do we confirm this? Well, you can do it a number of ways. We can go back to the, the top view and rotate ourselves around, and we can do our measurements there. All right. You can take a look. Maybe I'm off by 10 degrees or whatever here. We can actually check by using our inquiry tools, if you'd like to do that. Or we could just simply redraw it. So let's try this again. All right, we have uh, 30 degrees. And now this is 3.250. All right. So now if I start to use offset, let's get that upper thickness, 0.687, will be our offset there. Now from the backside here towards the front, we've got the 3.250 or I could just use two points to identify that offset and then I also have the 0 0.750 and then from the base up we got another 0 0.750 okay and then we could just close our line there now we have all of these lines end to end, and if I clean it up, we're going to use trim. Let's use trim here. And just at all the intersections there, we'll clean up the profile. Now again, we have an open profile here, and in order to extrude, we need to convert this to either a polyline or a region. Let's go ahead and use region, and then you have a couple ways to do that, right? You can do it with boundary, or you can you could just use the region command, so either would be fine. Let's select all the connected lines and hit enter. Now, if we go back to an ISO view, okay, uh, actually, let me use my views. Sometimes that navigation wheel gets a little scary. But here we are. Got an isometric view here, got a profile in the front UCS, and now we could extrude. Again, we get this information from the drawing. If I come back to home, we look at extrude here. I'm going to select the region, and as I hit enter, now I can specify the direction and dynamically also the extrude length. But we could do this numerically just by punching in 250. Okay, and now we have our base solid. At this point, it might be useful to go ahead and split up your model uh, space viewport into multiple viewports. And this way, uh, you're able to keep an isometric or overall view while you work with the different UCSs and the different orthographic views. Okay, this way you can actually see the model and all the features uh, from different points of view simultaneously. 
So also you'll notice at the very top of each of the viewports then, you can easily change the visual display style. And this way you can better visualize your model. Okay. Now this represents the base extrusion, but we also have in the auxiliary face here, you can see we've got this rounded edge. Now I'm going to use the simple uh, 2D fillet tool to create that rounded edge. And I'll be able to work in this view here as I do this. So this would be the, just a regular 2D fillet tool. First activate it, type R to enter the option and we're going to do a 1.250 radius. Now as I proceed, because we're going to do multiple, you can type M and then enter. And what I'll do first is select the edge. So zoom in close, make sure you have the right edge. You identify the edge, confirm the radius value, and then hit enter, and then enter again. As I proceed, once again, make sure I select the right edge, confirm the radius, enter, enter again. And that's how we produce that edge. You could also use your 3D orbit tool to better investigate your features and how they're being developed. Okay. Always, if you get a little lost, you can revert back to the view tab and use your standard views here. This will help with orientation as well as setting up the UCSs.